Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be looking at the Brighton Sport Computer Mount. So if you recently bought a GPS computer or have bike lights and other accessories that are either GoPro or Garmin compatible, you'll know that they typically come with cheap mounts. Here I have the Rider 320 and the stem mount that it comes with. These are okay, but it's much nicer to have a out in front mount like this Brighton Sport mount. This puts your accessories in front of you, cleans up your handlebar and provides a better angle of view. Many of them are dual sided and come with a lot of adapters so you can install various accessories on there. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the Brighton version. This is a sport mount. It's compatible with quite a few uh, Brighton models. It's funny that they don't say it's compatible with Garmin, but it is a Garmin quarter turn style mount. Uh, packaging wise, this is terrible. This is the plastic sealed almost laminated style, really hard to take off. So I'll go ahead and take a scissor to take it off. Retail price on this is $30. This is a CNC aluminum design. There's quite a few variations of this on the market from a lot of different manufacturers. They become quite popular now. As I mentioned, it really cleans up your handlebars, so I highly recommend it. Uh, it's a great way to really get everything in front of you. So pretty minimal packaging once you get it out of there. So here we have it freed from the plastic packaging. You basically get a little Allen wrench and the mount itself. It's almost an aerodynamic design. You can see it, it's quite thin here and it's designed to be right mounted here. It's a one-sided design so you can't mount a light or an accessory underneath. Let's take a second to look at the weight of the mount. It's a CNC aluminum so it's not going to be as light as a plastic mount. 30 grams, so quite light. So now let's look at the fit and finish of the Brighton Sport Mount. Out in front mounts have gained a lot of popularity these days with most manufacturers providing their own. It used to be an accessory that uh, secondary companies would make, but uh, manufacturers realized people were buying these, so they actually decided to make their own versions. This is a CNC aluminum, and it feels quite rugged. You have a two bolt design. So you'd have to remove at least one to swing it out of the way. Uh, you have an, a removable plate here. This is the Brighton attachment. This looks pretty similar to a lot of the out in front mounts where you can remove this and swap it out. It is only one sided so you can't put a light or another accessory underneath. What's interesting about Brighton is they use a Garmin style mount but it's a little bit thicker. So if we look at the Brighton you can see they've squared it off so it's not completely round and then if you were to look at the side profile uh, it's a little bit thicker than a traditional Garmin style. Here's my fabric uh, LumaSense, a uh, LumaRay. You can see that it's a little bit thinner. Otherwise, pretty similar. I'm not sure how well it comes out. So the Brian works on normal mounts, but it's a little, takes a little bit more force. So let's see with this. So this one, you get a nice click. Uh, when you put the Brian on a normal Garmin mount, uh, instead of a click, you get a little friction as you get near the center. With this, you get that nice click. So let's see if it is Garmin compatible. So we'll take my Luma Ray. And now instead of that click, you can see it really becomes quite difficult to rotate. But now that it's on, it's quite secure. Uh, just, you just don't get that satisfying click. And also you can still put the brain on here. So you can see you can actually get double accessories, at least with the uh, Luma Ray, which is a nice front uh, B scene style light. So the answer is yes, it is compatible. You just don't get the satisfying click. Now let's look at the removal process. On the Brighton's website, they claim a 30 second uh, installation time, which is still a little bit uh, more than I would expect with something like this. So you see you have to remove the Allen keys uh, enough to actually get on a handlebar. So you can see now that I have it off, you could just go put this on your handlebar, pull it in, and tighten it down. Uh, for comparison, here I have a Magic Shine version. You can see they're both right side mounts. Uh, quite similar. As I mentioned, they're all pretty similar design. The pucks are likely interchangeable. I don't know if they're meant to be interchangeable, but probably could be. Also, this one is dual design, so it's quite a bit bulkier, but does give you uh, additional flexibility. If that's what you're looking for. And so I was mentioning here with this, it's actually a hinge design, which is a little bit nicer because you don't have to remove two bolts. 
So here we have the mount installed on the bike. You can see with this design, it comes out pretty low. So if I throw the Brian 320 on there, you can see it sits almost flush with the handlebar. Also, even though they don't advertise it as Garmin compatible, you can certainly put Garmin devices on here. So here I have the Lumaray, which has a Garmin mount. And you can see when I attach it, it's just a little bit rougher. Once you get to 90 degrees, you can feel a little friction. And then the Brian will connect to a Garmin mount. And again, it's just not as smooth. It doesn't click in. You can even put a full on Garmin unit on the Brian mount as well. As you can see here, and it works pretty well. It's nice and firm and it won't really rotate. Here's a side angle shot of the mount with the Brighton 320 on here. You can see it fits nice and flush. So I actually like running this with the fabric Lumere. This provides you with daytime running light. That sandwiches between the actual computer and the mount. So you can see with the lower mount design, it still sits nice and flush and you have the daytime visibility as well. Now let's go over the pros and cons for the Brighton Sport Mount. What we like about the mount is the low mounting angle. It gives a very natural view angle as it sits almost flush with the top of your stem. Also the aluminum construction feels really well built and designed with almost an aero design. And finally Brighton computers lock into place really well. Unlike putting a Brighton computer on a Garmin mount, you don't get that friction. With the Brighton mount you get that nice locking sound and it feels very secure. Some of the cons for this mount is the fact that it's single sided. You can get dual sided ones on the market and that allows you to put a light or a GoPro on the bottom side. Also, Brighton doesn't include any other mounts or pucks with this. So for $30, you only get the single Brighton mount. And finally, a two bolt design takes a little bit more time to install on your bike. We'd prefer a hinge design that some other mounts offer. Taking everything into account, we'd give the Brian Sport Mount a 7.9 out of 10. This is a sleek out front mount for your Brian computer. It's not the most affordable on the market and has less accessories, but as a Brian compatible one, provides a really nice secure feel. Thanks for watching this review. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. You can see more content from us on our website at thesweetcyclist.com, as well as find us on Instagram at thesweetcyclist. This is The Sweet Cyclist reminding you to enjoy the ride.